Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. The U.S. economy added 272,000 jobs in May, a sign the labor market continued strong amid high interest rates, the Bureau of Labor Statistics announced on Friday. The number of May jobs was far higher than the 190,000 economists had expected and topped April's gains, when a revised 165,000 jobs were added to the economy. The unemployment rate rose to 4% for the first time since January 2022, up from 3.9% in April. Unemployment has now been at or below 4% for more than two years, the longest streak in over 50 years. But the pace of hiring had slowed considerably in recent months, from 315,000 new jobs in March to 175,000 new jobs a month later. That month-over-month -month decrease was taken as good news by Wall Street, as a cooling labor market could encourage the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates. The latest report is likely to reinforce the Fed's resolve to keep rates high. Though Wall Street had long hoped interest rates would come down by the summer, Officials at the Fed continue to be skeptical about a rate decrease amid disappointing inflation figures. Inflation was at 3.4% in May, still above the Fed's targeted rate of 2%. Previous signs of cooling in the labor market included the Bureau of Labor Statistics job openings and labor turnover survey from earlier this week, which showed there were just over 8M open job positions in the U.S. at the end of April, the lowest number since February 2021 and down 1.8M over the year. According to executive outplacement firm Challenger, Gray and Christmas, layoff figures have held steady, with U.S.-based employed announcing 63,816 jobs cuts in May, around the same number of cuts announced in April. Layoffs are down 20% from this time last year, when a handful of major tech companies were announcing job cuts. The Federal Reserve will hold its next Federal Open Market Committee meeting next week and is expected to announce on June 12 whether officials will change interest rates. Interest rates are currently at 5.25% to 5.5%, the highest rates in nearly two decades. On Thursday, the European Central Bank cut its interest rate for the first time in almost five years, but few expect the Fed to follow suit this week. At their last meeting in early May, Officials said inflation was still too high above their targeted rate of 2% to cut rates. In May, inflation stood at 3.4%, higher than its peak of 9.1% in June 2022, but also above the rate in June 2023, when it hit 3%. Inflation has not been below 2% since February 2021. It is likely that gaining confidence will take longer than previously expected, Powell said after the Fed's meeting in May. Federal officials are trying to manage a tough balancing act and trying to bring price increases down to a manageable level without offsetting the labor market too much.